An interval is the relationship between two notes, named by the number of letter names between them, or in simpler terms, how far apart or close together two notes are. So, to figure out what type of interval it is, you count up the spaces from the, starting from the bottom note, which here is a C, to the next note, which here is an E. So starting with the C, you count 1, and then the next space would be D, so that would be 2, and then your top note is 3. Therefore, you have a third. There are a few other types of intervals, such as an octave, which would be from this C to this C. And there are also unisons, which is basically when the note is repeated. So, if you had a C and then another C right next to it, that would be a unison. So, our first type of interval is the perfect interval. And these are used with fourths, fifths, unisons, and octaves. So, for example, if you had a C to an F, you would count up one, two, three, four. So you have a perfect fourth. And you know this because in the key of C, there is an F natural in that key. So, for another example, you could do um, a D and then count up five to make it a perfect fifth. So, one, two, three, four, five to an A. And you know that this is perfect because there are five letter names in between these two notes. And also, A natural is in the key signature of D. So our next type of interval is the major interval, and it uses the same basic concept as the perfect intervals, but this is used with seconds, thirds, sixths, and sevenths. So, for example, if you had a C to a D, this would be a major second, because we would count the C as 1, and then the D as 2, and we know that it's major because the D, nat the D natural is in the key signature of C. Or, we could have a C to an A, which would be a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it would be a major 6, and we know this because an A natural is also in the key of C. Our next type of interval is the minor interval. And it's about the same as the major interval, but, so if we take C to A, which would normally be A1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so it would normally be a major 6, if we lower that top note by half a step, making it A flat, it becomes a minor 6, because a flat is no longer in the key signature of C, but instead it's lowered half a step. Next, we could do C to an E. And normally, this would be a major third, but if we lower the E to an E minor, then we have a minor third because E flat is not in the key signature of C, but lowered half a step. So next we have the augmented interval. And this is if a perfect or a major interval is made one half step higher without changing the interval number. So the top, num the top note is raised half a step from its major or perfect position. For example, if you had an F going to an A, which would normally be a major third. But if you raise the A half a step, making it A sharp, it becomes an augmented third. Another example of an augmented interval is if we have a D going to an A, which would normally be a perfect fifth, but 
Raising the A once again, the A sharp, makes it an augmented fifth. The next type of interval that we have is the diminished interval. And this is when a perfect or a minor interval has the top note lowered half a step. So, going from an F to a C would normally be a perfect fifth, but if we lowered the C to a C flat, this would make this a diminished fifth. Another example of a diminished interval would be if we had an F to an A flat, which would be a minor third, and then if we lowered the A another half step, it would become A double flat, making it a diminished third. Next we have inharmonic intervals, and tritones fall under this category. So inharmonic intervals are intervals that sound the same, but are spelled differently. For example, if we had a C to an A flat, which would be a minor sixth, and we also had a B sharp going to a G sharp, which would be another minor sixth, and then we had a C going to a G sharp, which would be an augmented fifth. These would all be inharmonic because the C, the B sharp, and the C are all notes that sound the same, but as you can see, this one's called a B sharp, while these are called Cs. And same for the top notes, the, B, the A flat and the G sharp are sounding the same, but <laughs> spelled differently. So, tritones fall under the category of inharmonic intervals. Tritones are used with augmented fourths and diminished fifths because these two divide an octave into two parts, and they're three whole steps apart, giving them the name tritone. So, if we had a C going to an F sharp, this would be an augmented fourth, and also three whole steps apart. And then, if we had a C going to a G flat, this would also be a tritone because it would be a diminished fifth. 